set to roll. I know you're all set to roll. And I know you're going to give a very, very warm welcome to this gal because she is the first great superstar at the Continental Baths. So what more can you say? Here she is, Beth Midler! Gerard, he does my hair. He, uh, 
<laughs> oh yeah. He uh, he works in the beauty salon of the 34th Street subway station. <laughs> Set. I went to I went to visit him the other day. Uh, I went to have my hair done. It's heavy going downstairs to have your hair done. It is. Well, honey, I got there. I got into the subway station, and they had moved the thing. They had moved the beauty salon. When I listen, I don't mind having my hair done on the subway. I really don't. But in between the tracks, this is George. Oh, it's gonna be one of those nights. It really is. Um, is that doing something to my thing? <laughs> oh, I got my stand. I can sing again. Anyway, Mr. Drott is really great, though. His fingers never leave his hands. <laughs> there he was, the A-train's going by. <laughs> Incredible. Well, let's see. What, ha what has happened since I've been here last? Um, Stephen, you know, the owner of this dump, made a concerted effort is making a concerted effort to find people who can fill my shoes <laughs> or my blouses. <laughs> anyway, he approached Josephine the plumber to, <laughs> to uh, replace me. Uh, she, ha she declined. She came down and looked the place over and decided she could never get the stains out of these sinks. <laughs> Now, this is a song that we have never done before, <laughs> any of us. We have never played this through together. This is, um, I don't know how to say this. This, um, this is what they call work in progress. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all those actors. I have to let you know that they know what you're talking about. Those actors. <laughs> anyway, oh my God, it's Marilyn Sokol. Hello, Marilyn. Marilyn, the, the divine Miss Marilyn Sokol is here. Bless you. Famous actress. Okay, don't get up. Please, don't get up. I don't know, gotta, you know, you say the name and, the, and it's the instant reaction. You know, they, have, they react. All right, now this is my song. Uh, this is a great song. It's slow, but I hope you like it. It's dirty, too. Thank you. 
try anyway. I didn't think so. Let's see what else has been happening since I'm here at the Continental. Let's see, Jaja Gabor. Jaja Gabor and her hairdresser <laughs> checked into a hotel in Cleveland, Ohio. And um, they went up the stairs, you know, up to the room to see what the room looked like. And Miss Gabor opened the door and there were two naked men in the bed. Well, she fled in panic. But the hairdresser stayed. <laughs> I ran into Martha Ray on the street. You'll be delighted to know. You remember, all remember Miss Ray. She had this large button on her chest that said, Joan Crawford is a heterosexual. <laughs> but I tell you, honey, Miss Ray looked terrible. She'd just gotten beaten up. <laughs> she was mugged by a Viet Cong in the Christopher Street tea room. <laughs> talk about things of historical note, um, a decade that I, that I personally did not live through. I was not there for that one. I heard it was good, though. Um, the 40s. It was a fabulous, fabulous decade, the 40s. Yes, there were some wonderful things happening in the 40s. The thing that I remember that I was, that I have been influenced by most was girls singing groups in the 40s, like the Andrews Sisters, you know, and the Boswell Sisters. I've been very influenced by those ladies. Um, the reason I liked them was because they were animated. I mean, they were very animated, you know. They'd sing, but, at, and you know, the funny thing about these groups was that half the time they weren't even sisters, you know. They, the, MGM would see these three girls that looked a little alike, and they'd throw them together, and they'd say, sing, girls. And they'd sing, and they'd make a lot of money. The McFarlane sisters, you know, you, you knew they weren't sisters, honey. <laughs> anyway, I love them. Those groups because they were animated. You know, their faces would go and their little hands would move and their shoulders and their little ankle strap shoes and their, they were fabulous. Anyway, I have a song that I saw one of those groups do and I stole all the licks. I, I copped all the choreography, you know. So this song is a song that I don't generally do here at the Baz. I, I worked it up especially for this place and never got a chance to do it. But um, the thing is that the song is not to be listened to because, honey, it ain't gonna sound too hot. <laughs> gonna look great. <laughs> Keep your eye on the right shoulder. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
I'll tell you about this song. This is a special song. This is a song where everyone always gets up and leaves. <laughs> it's, a, it's heavy. I don't blame you. But, uh, well, the span of attention at this place is so short anyway. <laughs> What's a dip? What's one song here, another song? It only takes a song, right?
six minutes, so I know your span of attention is very short here. I know the span of attention is very short here. Nothing else is, but the span of attention. So anyway, so um, uh, I have x-ray vision, for those of you who don't know that. I have x-ray vision, and I know who is here and who is not here. And if I come back and there are any empty seats, your mother is going to hear from me. Get that blood circulating, you 
mother is up here working. Come on. It's very warm in here. It reminds me of back to back tan. Do you remember that movie? Oh, it was very steamy. I can't tell if the air conditioner is on. I hear something. But I'm not sure that's the air conditioner. You know?
sheer nerves. <laughs> Honey, I have been to sleep in three days. And I, your mother is very tired. <laughs> your mother is not a well woman. <laughs> Are any of us, I ask you. Okay. Oh, I tell you, this is it. It, it is at this part of the, I'm melting. What is coming off me? My dear, this sabotage. Um, my, we, this is the part of the problem we, where we really get it very heavy into nostalgia. Um, not ordinary nostalgia, you must understand, but nostalgia where, um, that we all remember because we, we are none of us just ten years old, are we? <laughs> we were all alive ten years ago, but we were fine. See, I, I was very happy in the 60s. <laughs> I was so happy! And I remember all that music, all that really good, good music like da do run run and then he, and, 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 and wait till my Bobby gets home and my boyfriend's back and, oh, oh, wait a minute, stop post me. I always, oh, I really love that music. We have worked up, we always do about, we always do one song from that era. You think it's not an era, it really is an era, it's gone, right? Right. Okay, we always do one song, but tonight is a special occasion, tonight is the, we are welcoming in Labor Day. So, so tonight we got two for you. All right, now, there is no doubt, in my mind at least, that you all know these songs. However, I must beg you, do not sing along. <laughs> Under pain of death. Hi, Mr. Gerard is back there, and he's going to pierce you with silver bobby pins. Yes. He's <laughs> vicious, that one. You don't like to get riled up. Okay, now we are going to do two of them. So, um, you might not like the first one, but you're bound to love the second one. Anyway, I'm going to be helped by Barry Manilow and Joey Mitchell, my two divine friends, musical friends. Thank you very much. Let's hear it for the boys.
Friday and Saturday group. I've never played a Sunday here before, but you were really nice.
thank you. He's so gracious, that one. <laughs> this is, uh, this really is the last time I'm going to be here for, for at least, for, for at least